Hello everyone, welcome to a lecture on microprocessor systems and interfacing. Uh, my name is Dr. Vilayat Khan. I'm an assistant professor at Comsage University, Islamabad, Wa campus. Uh, these slides have been uh, edited from these two sources given here. Uh, the topics of this lecture are instruction set uh, of Intel family of microprocessor with focus on 8086 microprocessor and uh, some logical instructions including uh, and uh, or exclusive or and test uh, instruction uh, in uh, microprocessors uh, they normally uh, support six types of uh, instructions uh, the instruction set is categorized in six types uh, these types are given here uh, the data transfer instructions uh, are responsible to uh, move data uh, from memory and to memory, from registers and to registers, uh, from input and output uh, and, and ports or devices and to input and output, output devices. And the arithmetic instructions are responsible to uh, perform arithmetic operations, for example, and or sorry, yeah, addition and subtraction. Uh, similarly, logical instructions are responsible for the logic operations, uh, for example, and or exclusive or and so on. Uh, the instructions in the fourth uh, group are string manipulation instructions. Uh, these instructions are responsible to uh, manipulate. Uh, uh, to move or to operate on uh, string data. The processor control instructions are, are responsible to uh, change or to control the state of the processor. Uh, for example, uh, uh, clearing or setting uh, the carry flag or the direction flag. Uh, and similarly, the control transfer instructions uh, uh, transfer the flow of uh, control from one place in the um, uh, program. Uh, from one place to another, for example, uh, jump instruction uh, and call instruction. Uh, in this lecture, uh, uh, logical and some logical instructions uh, are discussed. Uh, the first logical instruction is AND uh, uh, instruction. Uh, AND instruction uh, is the logical AND operation, uh, the truth table. Uh, for the N operation is given here. Uh, it has two operands, uh, for example, uh, operand A and operand B. Uh, and their values, all possible values are given here. Uh, these uh, these are just variables and they can have any of uh, these two uh, uh, values. Uh, either uh, each variable can have a value of 0 or a 1. So the total possibilities in the binary system are uh, four. So both of the input variables or the input operands can be zero. Uh, they can be, one can be zero and the other can be one. The first one can be one and the other can be zero and uh, both can be one. And T uh, is the output of the end operation. Uh, so uh, these two are the inputs in the truth table and this is the output uh, of the truth table and this output represents the output of the end operation. So uh, this truth table uh, explains or demonstrates or describes uh, the um, input and output relation between all possible inputs and the outputs. And so uh, the output up and end operation when uh, for each pair of bit is only one if uh, the inputs are both one. Otherwise, uh, uh, the output is always zero, e even if at least one of the inputs uh, is zero. Uh, on the right side, we have the logical symbol of an AND gate uh, in the digital logic design when uh, a function is implemented with uh, logic gates. Uh, this is the symbol used for the AND uh, uh, gate. So uh, uh, the same logical uh, operation, AND operation is implemented through this uh, uh, hardware component. And it has two inputs, A and B, uh, and one output, P. And uh, uh, this uh, AND gate uh, produces output, T, uh, according to this truth table given here. So um, each time uh, two inputs are provided here, it will give an output, and uh, 
this output is only one if both of the inputs a and b are one uh, otherwise uh, uh, it is always zero because according to the truth table if one of the inputs is zero the output will be zero uh, and uh, our instruction is normally used to uh, clear bits uh, of a binary number uh, and this operation is called uh, masking uh, for example if we have an unknown number an 8 bit unknown number uh, uh, the unknown bits are represented with x because we are not sure if they are um, the bit the, the, the bit is 0 or 1 so we just represent uh, that unknown bit uh, with uh, an x and if an, uh, and all bits of an 8 bit number are unknown then we represent them uh, that number with just 8 x's <clears throat> so this is an 8 bit unknown number we are not sure about the the value of that uh, unknown number and uh, let's suppose we want to uh, uh, to uh, clear the left most nibble uh, of that number uh, we just want to uh, clear these four bits uh, or we want to set them uh, to zero uh, then let's suppose uh, we need uh, a mask uh, a number another number uh, that will have uh, zero uh, in the leftmost nibble and ones in the rightmost nibble. <clears throat> so uh, when we end, uh, this dot symbol represents the end operation. So when we end uh, this unknown number and this mask given here, then uh, we will get the result here. And the result is uh, it will keep all the bits if the uh, if there are uh, if there is a one. Uh, uh, against to this x uh, in the end operation uh, so the corresponding uh, bits and the unknown number will be one uh, if uh, the corresponding bits in the mask are one uh, so sorry if they, these bits will be just kept as it is if they are zero they will be zero if they are one they, are, they will be one but here uh, as the corresponding bits in the mask are zero uh, regardless of the values here if they are zero or one uh, we will get zeros here so uh, this is an unknown number and if you want to make all the bits of the depth most nibble zero then we just keep zeros uh, in the mask here and we end both mask and the unknown number and we will get uh, zeros in the same position in the left most nibble so if you want to clear uh, a bit or group of bits uh, in the unknown number uh, we just uh, uh, find a, a resuitable mask uh, just like here and we end that mask with the unknown number uh, and we can get the corresponding bit or the corresponding set of bits uh, as zero uh, for example uh, the instruction move bx 3235h and we uh, end uh, bx with 0f 0f these values are in hexadecimal uh, system so we first move 3235h uh, a 16 bit value uh, to bx register and then we end this bx with this 0f 0f h uh, so this is an immediate value uh, so uh, as the leftmost uh, bit in this uh, mask is zero so it will make the leftmost hexadecimal digit which is three it will make it zero and similarly uh, from the right side the second digit is zero so it will make the second digit in this number as zero so um, it will replace uh, the the two threes in this number with zero uh, because this is what we want if we want to uh, replace all of these uh, digits with uh, zero uh, we can just mask uh, we can just end zero 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 h with uh, bx uh, so at the end uh, what we will get we will get a zero two zero five h and this bx after end operation so uh, we can clear any uh, bit in the number by ending uh, that unknown number with uh, or that known number with a mask and we design or define or find a relevant mask uh, according to our need like here we just uh, clear the leftmost nibble and right here we just clear the threes in this number uh, by ending that number with this mask so uh, end operation is available in a number of uh, forms uh, for example in the first group of uh, 
and instruction. Um, the two are friends. Um, uh, they can be uh, registers and they can be memory uh, locations. But remember that they cannot be memory location at the same time, just like with the addition and move instruction and subtraction. Uh, if both of them are register, uh, then we have and a in D space register two and register one. So uh, this instruction will end uh, the content in these two registers and will put or store the result of end operation in register two. So uh, the left um, argument uh, is the destination as, as the source, uh, while the, rest, uh, the right argument or operand is only the source, just like the move instruction. Uh, an example of this is and ALBLH. Uh, this is, uh, there is no H, it, it is just a typo. So and AL and BL. So this instruction will, will end uh, uh, the 8-bit value in BL register with an 8-bit value in the L register. And the result of end operation will be stored in the L register because L is uh, the destination as well. Uh, in the other form, <coughs> for example here, uh, the left most the destination operand is a register while the source operand uh, is a memory location. So uh, this instruction will add the content uh, at this memory location and will add it with the register 2 which is the destination as well and will store the result of end operation in register 2. An example of this uh, form of end instruction is given here. So uh, this instruction will end uh, the 16-bit content uh, in the data segment memory location addressed by uh, this offset address and uh, uh, is ended with uh, the 16-bit content in X register and the result of end operation is stored in X register. So remember here, um, we are using uh, a memory addressing mode and this memory addressing mode is uh, a register and direct addressing mode because the offset address uh, uh, inside the data segment is provided indirectly through the CX register. Uh, we could use uh, uh, direct addressing mode as well just by providing the offset address as an immediate value here um, but putting uh, it in the uh, the brackets uh, so it will be an address a memory address then uh, in the third form uh, where uh, the two arguments are used and one of them is a register and the other is a memory location so the memory location can be uh, the destination as well here the memory location is only the source but here the memory location can be the source and destination as well just like uh, the register was um, source and destination here so it will uh, end uh, the content at this register with the content in this memory location and the result will be stored in uh, that memory location so here is an example uh, the 16-bit content in the ax register is ended with 16-bit content uh, of the data segment memory location uh, addressed by the CX address and the result is stored at this memory location. Uh, remember that um, we uh, we know that um, this end operation is a 16-bit end operation because the content, the size of this register is 16-bit. Uh, and we know here that these two registers are 8-bit, so we know that this uh, instruction will end 8-bit uh, values. Uh, here uh, in this form and uh, the, our, the the destination um, can be a register and it can also be a memory location but the source uh, of the value is uh, only the immediate value. <clears throat> uh, so in this form we can have two uh, uh, instructions one can be uh, no, in, in one form uh, the destination can be a register while in the other uh, the destination uh, is a memory location. So uh, an example of this form is uh, the destination is a register while the source uh, is uh, uh, an immediate value. <clears throat> so this instruction will end uh, this 16-bit immediate value uh, with the 16-bit value in the uh, BX register. And uh, if we look at this value, uh, we uh, can understand as the two um, leftmost hexadecimal digits which make uh, it an 8-bit part of this 16-bit value are zeros and the rightmost byte uh, include all ones because um, the digits are f f so it means uh, eight ones so uh, in this 16-bit value uh, 
we have the leftmost bit byte is uh, all zeros while the rightmost uh, byte is all ones so uh, in the result uh, whatever the value this bx has uh, we uh, are sure that the uh, up to the end of ration uh, bx register in the bx register the value uh, will have the leftmost byte as zero because uh, these uh, this byte will clear all the bits of the uh, leftmost uh, uh, will clear all the leftmost uh, uh, bits of the bx value so in this bx register of the end operation the leftmost byte will be zero and uh, the rightmost uh, byte uh, will be uh, not changed uh, it will be kept as the original value in the bx register before the end operation <coughs> Uh, similarly, uh, the destination up end of ration can be uh, memory uh, and, and an example of this is that we end the 16-bit um, value with uh, a 16-bit value in the data segment memory location addressed by BX register. So, uh, mm, uh, the value, uh, the end of ration will perform, uh, will just make, will just clear the leftmost byte of this 16 uh, um, bit data in this memory location and uh, note, uh, note the difference between the two instruction here bx is uh, not enclosed in brackets while bx is enclosed in brackets here and uh, the interpretation or the function of these two instructions are different uh, in the sense that uh, here uh, the destination register uh, is uh, the destination is a register while here the destination is a memory location uh, these brackets um, indicates that this is a memory addressing mode this is a memory location but the offset address is provided through the uh, register bx while here uh, a memory location is not accessed uh, and instead uh, uh, bx register is accessed uh, and the destination is also the bx register so there are two different addressing mode uh, there are a number of other examples and uh, these examples are uh, are for uh, um, many other microprocessors uh, for the 8086 and above microprocessors so uh, on the left hand side we have uh, some assembly language instruction and on the right hand side we have uh, the operation that these instructions perform uh, so in the first instruction NLBL, uh, we uh, this instruction uh, ends AL the 8 bit content in L and the, with the 8 bit content in BL and the result is stored in the L as this is an 8 bit instruction so this is uh, uh, available in 086 microprocessor and above and uh, this is a 16 bit end operation where uh, this instruction ends the 16 bit content in CX with 16 bit content in DX and the result is stored in the CX register and this is a 16-bit instruction this is also available in 8086 and above microprocessor why because we know that uh, in 8086 microprocessor we can have 8-bit um, instruction uh, register as well as 16-bit uh, register so CX and DX are uh, part of the 8086 microprocessor so we know we know uh, we know it uh, similarly uh, uh, and instruction can be used in the 32-bit mode as well so this instruction uh, ends the 32-bit content in the EDI and uh, register with the 32-bit content in the ECX register and uh, now we are sure that this extended uh, these extended registers are not uh, uh, available uh, in the 8086 microprocessor uh, they are available only uh, in the 80286 and above microprocessor uh, so uh, this instruction cannot be executed uh, over the 8086 microprocessor and uh, there is uh, a 64-bit uh, mode of end operation as well uh, by including uh, RBP, which is a 64-bit uh, register, and uh, this the 64-bit value uh, in the RBP is ended with the 64-bit value in the RDX, and the result is stored in RDX. And this is a 64-bit uh, uh, instruction, and uh, uh, the values are 64 bits so mm, this is uh, this instruction ends to 64 bit values and 64 bit uh, registers are available in the pentium and above microprocessors uh, similarly there are other uh, uh, modes as well and instruction ends this 8 bit 30, 8 bit immediate value with the 8 bit uh, cl register and the result is stored in the cl register and this instruction ends 
uh, a 16 bit immediate value with ends with a 16 bit immediate value with uh, a 16 bit value in the uh, DR register. And similarly, here <clears throat> uh, this is a 32 bit uh, immediate value and it is stored in uh, it is ended with 32 bit uh, value in the ESI uh, uh, register and the result is stored in the ESI. And here, uh, this is again a 64 bit mode. Why? Because this uh, destination register is a 64 bit register. So this one uh, in the decimal is uh, uh, is ended as a 64 bit value with this 64 bit uh, register. And the result is stored um, in the 64 bit format in the RX register. Here, uh, the memory addressing modes are used. So this instruction ends. Uh, the 16 bit value uh, from the data segment memory location addressed by DI register and that value is ended with 16 bit value in the X register and the result is stored in the X register. Um, we uh, uh, know that um, X is a 16 bit um, register, so the 16 bit value is um, uh, read from this memory location is ended with X register and the result is stored uh, as a 16 bit value in the X register. Here, uh, and array SIL. So this uh, instruction ends the 8-bit content in this L register with the 8-bit value uh, in the data segment memory location addressed by this array plus SI uh, offset address. So this array is a variable. This represents an offset address and SI is a 16-bit register. So this offset address uh, array plus SI both are added and uh, uh, this will uh, create a 16-bit offset address and this 16-bit address uh, offset address is then added with the left shifted uh, uh, value of the data segment register and uh, um, a 20-bit address is created that way. <clears throat> so uh, this 8-bit value in the L register is ended with uh, the 8-bit value uh, in the data segment memory location addressed by array plus SI and the result is stored at the same memory location. Here, uh, an 8-bit value uh, in the seal is ended with the byte content or 8-bit content of the data segment memory location uh, addressed by this EAX, EAX offset address. So EAX uh, uh, um, register uh, stores an offset address and uh, uh, that offset address uh, is added with the data segment register uh, uh, value, left shifted value and uh, uh, a memory location is identified and mm, an advert value is taken from that memory location is ended with CL and then the result is stored in this memory location. Remember that this instruction uh, we can understand, we, we know that uh, this cannot be executed over the 8086 microprocessor because EAX register is not available in 8086 microprocessor. So uh, EAX register is available in 80286 and above microprocessor. So this instruction can be executed uh, in the 80286 and above microprocessor. Uh, our uh, instruction uh, uh, implements logical uh, or oppression. Uh, 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 here uh, we have the truth table of our uh, instruction. Uh, R just like N has two uh, operands N B and there is an output T. Uh, these are these two columns represent all the possible input values. Uh, they, uh, either of the input can be zero or can it can be a one. So we have four possible com input combinations, and we have an output uh, here uh, represented with the T column. Uh, as the two table uh, shows, uh, the output is zero only if both of the inputs are uh, zeros uh, in the logical or operation. Uh, otherwise, it is always one. And here we have the logical symbol uh, for the uh, OR uh, gate. Uh, here we have the output T and we have the two inputs. Uh, so uh, this T is 0 only if A is 0 and B is 0. Otherwise, this T is always 1 for all other possible input combinations. Uh, OR uh, instruction is normally used uh, to set uh, bits of a binary number. Uh, for example, we have an unknown 8-bit binary number and again the unknown uh, number is represented with 8 X's because all of the 8 bits are unknown. So this is an unknown number and uh, uh, 
uh, if we want to uh, set the rightmost uh, uh, nibble of this unknown number, then we uh, or uh, this mask which include uh, four zeros and four ones and with this unknown number and at the result we get uh, this value uh, where uh, the leftmost nibble um, is kept unchanged uh, while the rightmost nibble uh, all the bits are uh, set to one uh, because we uh, use uh, all ones in the rightmost nibble so wherever in the R operation wherever there is a one uh, the uh, corresponding uh, a bit in the unknown number will be changed to one uh, and if there is a zero the corresponding bit will be unchanged in the R operation so uh, these bits in the unknown number x x, x are unchanged uh, while these bits uh, against these ones are set to one so if you want to make all these uh, bits in this unknown number uh, in this right most nibble one then we just keep ones here in the mask and uh, at the result in the result we will get ones here <clears throat> so uh, in this uh, operation we uh, want to uh, set all the bits in the rightmost nibble uh, and if you want to uh, set any other corresponding bit then we can just uh, um, uh, end uh, uh, a, a different mask uh, with that unknown number and we can uh, set any a number of bits uh, in unknown number uh, here uh, just like end uh, our instruction is also available in different uh, forms uh, that in among the two uh, the two R operands of the R operation uh, our instruction can be both uh, registers and they can be memory and one can be registered and the other can be memory but they cannot be a memory location at the same time just like uh, uh, other uh, move instructions and uh, move instruction and uh, uh, arithmetic instruction <coughs> so uh, in the first form uh, both uh, the operands are register so um, just uh, this vertical line represent the r operation so the uh, contents in both of these registers are odd with each other and the result of r operation is stored in the uh, destination register which is uh, the left operand uh, here is an example r l and bill again this is a typo so this it should not be there uh, this is just bl register uh, uh, so this instruction will end or uh, the 8-bit content in bill register with the 8-bit content in L register and the result will be stored in the L register. When uh, the source of the R uh, uh, operation or instruction is a memory uh, and the destination uh, uh, can be a register, uh, then the content in this memory location is R with the content in this register and the result is stored in the register. So here the register is the dis dist destination. Uh, this is an example uh, of uh, this memory uh, uh, addressing mode. <clears throat> the 16-bit content in AX register is R with 16-bit content in the data segment memory location addressed by the CX register and the result is stored in the AX register. And uh, uh, the memory location can be a destination, uh, which is an example of this is given here. So the 16-bit content in the AX register is uh, R with the 16-bit content in the data segment memory location addressed by this uh, offset address and the result is stored here. <clears throat> so uh, these are examples of uh, this form of R uh, instruction and uh, in the R uh, instruction we can also provide our R, R um, the immediate data as well uh, while the destination uh, can be a memory location and it can be a, 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 a register. But remember that, and uh, and all the instructions where we want to uh, store uh, the result uh, of the operation, um, the destination cannot be immediate data. So here, <coughs> the uh, the source of the one of the source of the our, uh, our operation is immediate data, but the uh, destination uh, is can be. Um, a register it and it can also be a memory location so in this form uh, the destination is a register while in the other the destination is a memory location so uh, um, the example of this register and data is here uh, or bx uh, and comma 00fh so this 16-bit value 00fh is or with the 16-bit value and this bx register and this, uh, the result is stored in the bx register 
and uh, when the destination of the mm, mm, uh, the data is a memory location then um, here we have an example of that mode the 16 bit value 00 ffh is uh, odd with 16 bit value of the data segment memory location addressed by this offset address <coughs> and as we know that this is an R operation and in R operation we can uh, set bit uh, in the unknown number so in this unknown number in the memory uh, addressed by this offset address we are sure that the rightmost 8 bits are set to 1 because uh, the rightmost uh, 8 bits in this uh, mask are 1's uh, uh, so uh, and the leftmost uh, bits of this mask are zero so uh, the bits uh, in the unknown uh, number would be kept the leftmost bit 8 bits would be kept unchanged while the rightmost bits uh, uh, will be uh, set to 1 <coughs> exclusive R uh, exclusive R uh, uh, in the exclusive R uh, normally it is used to invert uh, bits of a binary num number any number of bits in the unknown number can be inverted uh, here we have the truth table for the exclusive or operation mm, it is again a binary operation so we have two inputs and uh, there is an output so the, for the all possible uh, four input combinations we have four uh, corresponding outputs and uh, uh, this output uh, value is uh, a zero if both of the inputs are same and uh, the output is one if uh, both of the inputs are different um, and here we have the logical uh, symbol for the exclusive R gate uh, this is slightly different than R with this additional uh, semi uh, circle <coughs> uh, so we have two inputs and we have uh, as an output and this output is uh, zero if uh, both inputs both inputs are uh, the same for example a and b are 0 or a and b are 1 then the output t is 0 otherwise uh, output t is 1 uh, as I said uh, this exclusive or uh, instruction is used normally used to uh, invert uh, bits of a binary number for example this is an un unknown 8 bit number and uh, this is a mask and this uh, plus with a circle uh, represent the exclusive or operation so this is a mask with rightmost nibble as one and the leftmost bit uh, nibble as zeros. <clears throat> so this mask will uh, complement or invert these uh, the bits against ones, and uh, uh, this uh, zeros will keep uh, the corresponding bits in the unknown number as unchanged. So uh, these uh, in the mask as we have the rightmost four bits are. Um, one so it will invert uh, whatever the values uh, in this position uh, in the unknown number are so they are x's and at the, in the result of uh, exclusive or oppression uh, they will be x, x prime but uh, the bits uh, in front of uh, zeros will be unchanged so in this this is a specific mask it's just an example uh, used to Invert the bits in the rightmost nibble and to keep uh, the bits in the uh, leftmost nibble as unchanged. If we want to invert any other uh, bits, then we, we have to change uh, the value of this mask. Here are uh, examples of the exclusive OR operation, and just like N and OR operation, um, uh, exclusive OR is also available uh, in these uh, forms. Um, uh, it has two offerings. Uh, both, uh, both of the offerings can be uh, registers and they can be um, memory locations. But remember that uh, both of the offerings cannot be memory locations at the same time. But they can be um, both of the offerings can be registers just like here. Uh, so this instruction will a exclusive or this is the symbol for exclusive or uh, uh, both of the uh, symbols can be used but um, so this is uh, this is just a symbol but uh, this exclusive or oppression uh, would um, uh, produce the result according to the two table uh, on the previous uh, slide so uh, this uh, instruction will exclusive or uh, the content in register one with the content in register two and here we have an example again this is a typo 
Um, so this instruction will uh, exclusive or the 8-bit content in the BL register with the 8-bit content in the L register. And uh, when uh, the source of the one of the offering is a memory location, then uh, here is an example. Uh, this instruction will uh, exclusive or the 16-bit content uh, of the data segment memory location addressed by the CX register with 16-bit content of the AX register and the result will be stored in the AX register. And uh, here, exclusive R memory register 1 uh, in, in this instruction, uh, the source is a register uh, and the destination is a memory location. So remember that uh, in either of these forms, there can be um, many variations um, uh, because uh, we have many registers in the microprocessors. Uh, for example, this register can be L, can be BL, can be H, can be BH, can be uh, CL, can be CH, and can be AX, can be BX, and so on and so forth. So, and this memory location can be any, um, um, can be uh, uh, any data, uh, can, can be any segment except uh, core segment. Uh, and uh, so uh, many um, instructions can be formed only if we consider this form. Uh, here is an example where a 16-bit content in X register is uh, exclusive R with the 16-bit content of the data segment memory location addressed by CX register. Uh, exclusive R in the exclusive R, uh, we can also provide immediate data as the uh, source of uh, as the source of data. Uh, so immediate data is part of the instruction actually, so it is not accessed separately from the data segment. Uh, the destination can be a register, it can also be a memory location. Here are the examples. Uh, in this instruction, a 16-bit uh, uh, immediate value, uh, which is the mask, is exclusive or with 16-bit value in the BX register. So the value in the BX register is the unknown number and uh, we know the mask here. Uh, so uh, the bits where the bits are one the corresponding bits in the unknown number will be inverted uh, and the bits um, uh, on the right uh, the leftmost eight bits um, are zero so uh, the leftmost bit in the unknown number will be unchanged uh, this is a hexadecimal number so it's a 16-bit value uh, when the destination of the uh, exclusive or instruction is a memory location uh, here is an example. Uh, the 16-bit value, immediate value, is exclusive R with the data segment memory location uh, addressed by uh, this uh, offset address uh, stored in the BX register. And uh, uh, exclusive R is uh, ex uh, available with just uh, accumulator as well. Uh, it's not different than uh, uh, this mode here. But here the destination can be any other register, but uh, in this uh, form, the destination is always accumulator. Uh, so um, uh, accumulator and add bit accumulator can be used where an add bit uh, immediate value is exclusive or with the add bit uh, uh, register. Uh, and uh, uh, the in the 16 bit mode, a 16 bit uh, immediate value is exclusive or with the X register, and the result is stored in the X register. And here uh, we have a number of examples of the exclusive or instruction. Here on the left column, we have assembly language instruction, and on the right side, we have the um, operation that uh, these instructions can perform. So, exclusive RCHDL, so this uh, instruction uh, exclusive or the 8 bit content in DL with 8 bit content in CH, and the result is stored in CH. Here it's a 16 bit instruction, uh, 16 bit exclusive or operation. So 16-bit value in the BX is exclusive R with 16-bit uh, value in the SI instruction uh, register and the result is stored in the SI uh, register. And this is a 32-bit uh, mode where the 32-bit value in the EDI is exclusive R with the 32-bit value in the EBX and the result is stored in EBX. And remember that this instruction is available only uh, uh, in the R0286 and above microprocessor while these instructions are uh, available in R086 and above microprocessor <coughs> so because EBX and EDI are not available in, in R086 microprocessor so we are not sure that this instruction cannot be executed over the R086 microprocessor uh, and just like uh, the R operation uh, exclusive R is also available in the 64-bit mode in the later microprocessor and uh, here uh, an immediate value can be uh, uh, exclusive R with uh, a, a, a 
H register and uh, 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 similarly 16-bit uh, immediate value can also be exclusive or with a register um, here uh, uh, an immediate value which is given here is uh, the decimal value but this is uh, uh, then this is would be this value would be uh, represented as a 32-bit uh, value and would be exclusive or with that it 32 bit uh, value in ESI and the result would be stored in ESI. Similarly, immediate value can be used as a 32 uh, 64 bit value in the 64 bit exclusive R mode. <clears throat> and the memory addressing mode can also be introduced here. Uh, the 16 bit content of the data segment memory location addressed by the source index uh, register with the 16 bit value in the DX register and the result would be stored in the DX. And here, uh, exclusive R instruction is used uh, uh, um, uh, um, with the H register and 8 bit value in the H register is exclusive R with the 8 bit content of the stack segment uh, memory location addressed by the DL plus uh, um, BP plus 2. Uh, so um, here uh, we know that base pointer is the um, whenever base pointer instruction or stack pointer inst uh, register sorry uh, base pointer register and stack pointer registers are used uh, that uh, means the stack segment memory location is accessed um, here we know that source index is uh, used as a offset address register with the data segment uh, of the memory look memory here the base pointer is used so whenever stack pointer and base pointer are used uh, um, that uh, uh, that means the stack segment is accessed uh, so the offset address of the stack segment is calculated or computed by adding the value in the deal variable uh, plus the 16 bit value in the bp plus 2 and on offset address is uh, accessed and then the stack segment is accessed and an 8 bit value from the stack segment uh, is then exclusive or within 8 bit value in the H register and the result is stored in the same memory location.